In the city of dreaming spires, in the grounds of Christchurch College, seven rifles gathered for a special honour, receiving the freedom of the city from the mayor of Oxford. It's a privilege which has already been given to Admiral Lord Nelson, Sir Roger Bannister and Nelson Mandela. But now it's been bestowed on the city's very own battalion. Just really excited to be able to march through uh, a historic city like Oxford and be proud to be serving the rifles. It's cements what we do um, as uh, riflemen. Um, it's a chance for us to show off our skills and show, show ourselves to the public. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's good for the lads, good for the morale. With the seven rifles, band and bugles leading the way, the parade set off quickly, keeping up a quick march at 140 paces per minute as they pass through the high street up to St Giles. The freedom of Oxford is something this battalion have inherited from their antecedent battalions. It was first given to the Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry in 1945 after their service in Dunkirk. So today is also a bit about reflecting on some of that heritage. Really excited. It's a massive privilege to be able to do something like this. The history of it's fascinating because years and years ago when armies used to conduct their business around the UK and, and overseas, towns were very reluctant to let them come inside purely because drinking bad behaviour. So the fact that towns worked closely enough with different regiments um, to be trusting enough to let them actually come into the, you know, the city walls is, is really important. So to be able to exercise that today um, is absolutely fascinating. 120 soldiers took part, all reservists from the battalion's A Company based in Abingdon. They were joined by cadets and veterans, the young and the old, side by side. Yeah, it's marvellous, isn't it? I mean, look, Oxford's a wonderful city. Um, the real pleasure of this is that, uh, is that many of the riflemen on parade today are from Oxford. All of the cadet force were from Oxford. So these are local people parading in front of their local citizens. The last time the Royal Green Jackets took the freedom of the city was in 2006, and this latest parade was given a hearty welcome. The crowds supporting their local soldiers and sharing a bit of battalion pride as well. Carla Prater, Forces News, Oxford.